All right, people, welcome back. More card review, and no, your eyes do not deceive you. We are doing a triple review. We did a double review last Wednesday. We're doing a triple review today, and I don't even know how many cards we're going to be reviewing on Wednesday, so make sure you come back for that. But, you know, we, there's just so many cards coming out all at the same time, and it's just like, if I, if I literally reviewed one card, Every single time, just one, one on Monday, one on Wednesday, we would be here forever because it seems like they're pumping out new cards faster than I can read them. So we got to speed it up a little bit. So, you know, we can possibly do uh, two to three, you know, sometimes even more, depending as long as the cards have a little bit of synergy, you know. And this is possibly how card review will change, you know, uh, with the upcoming channel changes, possibly, because card review will be actually cut down to once a week. So if I only do one card once per week, we'll never get it, you know, through a new card. So. Speed it up, so as long as it's archetypal and they have some kind of synergy, we can we can possibly do, you know, a handful of cards. So, you know what? Let's just go ahead and hop into it. This triple review, we're doing Predator Plants. I know. What? Predator Plants actually getting some new cards? Thank fucking Christ. So, if you guys don't really remember, I actually happened to play, quote-unquote, Predator Plants on Daily Duels. Because you guys voted on it, I played it with it while it only had three cards. Just the original three monsters, and then, of course, Star Venom. But it's Predator Plant-wise, it's set those three monsters. We, and no spells, no traps. Like, well, you know, really, is that even a deck? I mean, it was okay. I worked with it, you know. Uh, thank Christ that Star Venom just needed Dark Monsters, so I thrown in a little bit of Evil Swarms, you know, and um, uh, Fusion and that Fusion Substitute card, or whatever the one that I can fuse with monsters on the field, and I go to the Fusion Monster draw card because I mean, there's really no point in playing Poly because for Star Venom I need Dark Monsters on the field. It, it was, uh, you know. Uh, but now they got a new monster, they got a new fusion monster, and they got a new uh, continuous spell. So we're going to go ahead and look at all of those and uh, see if they were good enough to throw inside my Predator Plant deck slash Evil Swarm deck. So starting off, let's go ahead and look at the effect monster. So that is Predator Plant Sundu Kingi. Yeah, Kingi, I guess. All right. Or Kingi, I guess, in what well, would it be in Japanese? Uh, I guess I think it's King Kingi G, with a, like uh, where G has the J sound. Uh, it is dark plant effect. Uh, he kind of looks like a reptile, but no, no, he, he's definitely a plant. He's level two. 600 attack, 200 defense. His effect reads, if you use a monster with a predator counter as a fusion material, treat it as a dark monster. <clears throat> All right, well, uh, you know, if you have a different type of monster, but generally, I mean, in predator plants, everybody's dark. Uh, if it has a predator plant, including your opponent's monsters, they become dark, okay? Um, hoping that maybe this can, card can use your opponent's monster as fusion material. That'd be awesome. Next effect. During your main phase, you can fusion summon one dark fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field and or monsters your opponent controls with predator counters as fusion materials, including this card. You can only use this effect of predator plant sundu kinji once per turn. This card's good. This card's good. Like, like... In my prayer plan, this card would be an easy 3 up because it's just so easy. I'm sorry, and I don't know. I, I was first I wasn't too happy about that uh, antique ancient gear helm, but I'm starting to like it. I'm, and like this guy too. I like cards that just are the poly, you know? Because probably one of the biggest problems in the mechanic of the fusion mechanic is that I need a poly. If I don't got a poly, even if I got the monsters, I ain't fusing, you know? So it's nice to have these monsters that are like, dude, I got you covered. You don't need to poly. I'm going to fuse. So, literally, this guy is just a one-card star venom. And it says, well, no, because you need to put a uh, predator plant counter. So, you literally just put a predator plant counter on your opponent's monsters, summon this. Your opponent has a predator plant counter. It's treated as a dark monster. You fuse this with your monster, your opponent's monster predator plant. Uh, you can go into star venom. And I believe you can actually go into the other fusion monster that we're going to be reviewing today. Yeah, one predator plant monster plus one dark monster. This is the prayer plant monster, your opponent's monster is the dark monster. And you can use your monsters on your opponent's side of the field, and it counts as poly. This card is fantastic. Definitely easy as three up. Easy as three up. And it might need to uh, actually up the predator plant monster guy that you pitch from your hand to put some predator plant counters on your opponent's monsters. Yeah, up him too, because I think I cut him to two. I think I cut him, the low four to two, and then the one guy was like, um, when I think he's in normal summon, you put a predator plant, and if he battles a monster, the predator plant counter, he like drops his level to like two or something. I put, I think I played three of him because he's like one of the best predator plants. Um, let me see, predator plant. Who am I talking about? Uh, I'm talking about Hellfly, Fly Hell, Fly Hell, Fly Hell. I put, definitely played three of. He's good. Once you turn, you can target one. Based on monster your opponent controls, plays a predator plant. Good. That would cost you a normal summon, so. I think you would up the count of uh, Predator Plant uh, Skid Drosera. You can send this card from your hand to get target one face-up monster your opponent controls. 
uh, the turn of no, no. I thought you just pitched it. No, the face of card leaves the field place one pair of playing counter uh, on each person. I'm not sure if I'm controls. Yeah, I thought it was the pitch to put the counters on. My bad. I had the two effects flipped. Damn. So this card had to leave the field to put some predator plant counter on. You know what? Uh, despite all three of these cards, this deck needs some predator plant generation. I mean, some counter generation. Like, like. You 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 copy my normal summon. You put a, a counter on, but you you copy my normal summon. I'm probably gonna kill the monster with with fly hell anyway. You no, know? and Dressera has to leave the field to put the counter on. If it was like a pitches card from a hand, you're gonna have to put some counters on. Hell yeah, but no, it's the other way around. Damn, damn, it's a good card. You know, fly. Hell. I mean, Sundu Kingji is a good card, but I need I, to get the most out of it. I need something to have a prayer counter, but nothing really puts prayer counters on that too hot. Uh, uh, that's, that's kind of disappointing. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at the Fusion Monster. So this is Predator Plant, Chimera Reflasia. Alright, it's not just Reflasia. You know, there's plenty of monsters. I mean, Vileplume's are Reflasia. It's, it's a type of plant, and you can clearly see it, right? It has a Dark Plant Fusion Effect Monster, level 7, 2500 attack, 2000 defense. I mean, classic stats right there, for especially for a level 7. Uh, I said his materials is made with one Predator Plant Monster plus one Dark Monster, so... Hopefully you have, you know, your opponent has a Predator Plant counter, and you can just go ahead and fuse with it with, uh, with King G, and then bam, you can summon this. Or Star Ben, but both, both. It's cool. So, if I agree, once you turn, you can target one monster on the field with a level less than or equal to this card's banish it. Yep, yep, I mean, I love me some nice spot removal, you know. Uh, this card's level 7, so it's nothing to scoff at. It's not to scoff at, so if you, you know, you fuck up a little bit too much, you can easily be like, oh shit, you know, this card's gonna banish me. It is level 7, you know, so that's pretty good, it's pretty good. Uh, of course, it can't really affect the sea monsters, but nonetheless, this card, that, that, that first effect's pretty good. When an attack is declared involving this card, your opponent's face-up monster, okay, you have, like, some kind of amazing effect, you can make that opponent's monster lose 1,000 attack, and if you do this card, gains 1,000 attack. Okay, so anything that's, what, 4,500? It can crash with anything that's 4,500, and anything that's less than 4,500, it will kill, including Chaos Max, because I'm going to attack Chaos Max to distract, it's not target. My opponent's going to drop down to 3,000, I go up to 35. You're dead. So, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, be able to just step over anything that's 4,400 or less is nice, nice. So, uh... Now, if you could say, like, you know, I could put some Predator counters on cards, that'd be cool. Uh, once per turn, during a standby phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there since the last standby phase. Okay. It's kind of weird, really. During this standby phase. So, this includes the, your opponent, because it doesn't say your standby phase, the standby phase. So, you know, if you, like, Dark Hole is on the field, and then during... The standby phase, including your opponent's discard the graveyard because it's sent there during the last well during the last standby phase, which means that you would have to wait like two turns. Because generally shit happens after the standby phase and during the main phase. So if this card is in the standby phase, if this card because it was sent there since the last standby phase. Yeah, yeah that's a that's like a two turn wait. That's that's really weird. Okay. You can add one poly Spell card or fusion spell card from your deck to your hand, except the fusion wave motion. Okay, well, you can, of course, you can add poly or, uh, you know, fusion top two or whatever, that's great. But also, because you can have any fusion spell card, you can have yourselves a, uh, a nice instant fusion. So, more than anybody. And you know what? In my, uh, Predator Planet deck, I, ran, I did run instant fusion because I used that dark flare dragon, the, uh, dark fusion deck, because he's just the monster I can summon with instant fusion for my star venom. You know? Like, I can summon a Predator Planet. Instant Fusion, some of my Dark Flare, you know, that 1500 Dark level 4 Fusion monster, and then fuse it out, you know, because with Star Venom, I need two Dark monsters on the field, Predator Plant plus him. During this, I need a Predator Plant monster, which I just summoned in my, on a Dark monster. So, definitely, definitely, I would throw an Instant Fusion. This card can grab it when it leaves the field. Uh, and it's, in the, uh, it's in the graveyard, so, you know, overall, not bad, not bad. I just wish it had something to do with Predator Plants. Like, it looked like the big boss monster of the Predator Plants, and it's just like, you know, maybe, like, once per turn, I can put a Predator Plant counter on. Like, you could have just tacked that effect on there, but, yeah, you know. All right, so there is a Fusion Monster. And last card for this triple review, we are looking at the Continual Spell. Like, you know, it sells a Continual Spell. So, uh, this is Predator Planter. Oh my god, so creative with the names. Uh, you just throw in the ER, and there you go. Uh, once per turn, during your standby phase, pay 800 life points or destroy this card. Okay. Once per turn, you can special summon one level 4 or lower Predator Plant Monster from your hand or graveyard 
but it has its effects to get. Okay, so you got yourselves a miracle fertilizer, except that it doesn't cost you your normal summon. The monster doesn't die. I mean, this card doesn't die like miracle fertilizer when the monster leaves the field. Overall, this is a really great card. Uh, I think that was one of my biggest gripes with Predator Plants is that, you know, I would run out of uh, materials, you know, I'd run my monsters, I'd freeze with them, they'd be in the grave, they're pretty much gone, you know, but this card, uh, I can pretty much just summon, and uh, the 800 life points makes it seem like if you want to play, pay multiple of them, play multiple of them, that you're going to be getting some out. I mean, every pretty much every single turn, especially if you have a lot of Predator Plants, uh, you're going to be summoning like three monsters per turn if you have these, but I mean, you're taking, you know, 2400, so, ouch, you know, ouch, ouch. Uh, so it's just like you know a little bit of give and take because um, the effect is it's not once per turn. You can, it doesn't say you can only use the effect of predator plants or once per turn. Uh, the predator plants effects are negated, so that's a little bit of a balancing factor too. Because if they didn't have their effects negated, then we could talk because then the predator plants could generate their own you know, counters. I could just have uh, two of these, you know, during my uh, during my standby. I mean, uh, once per turn, you know, I can activate one of them that can summon back fly hell. Uh, Fly Hell can go ahead and once we try to target a Facebook monster, probably pull controls, put a Predator Plant counter, then I can activate the other one, which will go ahead and summon um, King G, and then fuse with you, you know, and I can pretty much do that every turn, 6,300, just like, you have a monster, summon, put a counter, summon, fuse, summon, put a counter, summon, fuse, and no, it's not like I, I don't have to control any monsters, nothing. there's no limiting factor, I just pay 800 each day my phase, uh, and I get to keep on summoning Predator Plant monsters from my hand or graveyard. So, like I said, the effect negated is definitely the limiting factor, uh, the the balancing factor with this card. But overall, it's a, it's a really good card, you know? It's just, my big, my gripe right now is that I only have fucking four Predator Plant monsters. So, you know, like, so I don't really got too much of a choice. It seems like you would have to run just, you know, four, you know, three of each of them. So, it's still only 12 monsters. Now, so you could easily draw the shit out of Predator Planter if you have no Predator Plants at all. So, but it's nice that you can summon it from the hand too. So, you know, it's complaining that Fly Hell you had to use your normal summon, but no, you could just summon it from your hand. So, uh, uh, but nope, the effects would be negated. So, yeah, you know, that effect negated thing fucks you, fucks you hard. But, I mean, summon it from the hand, special summon from the hand, normal summon from the hand, fuse it up. So, that's just that effect negation, you know. It's just like, my, my Predator Plant monster effects are already graded, graded since you're going to negate them too. It's like, ah, damn it. Anyway, there you go, people. There is your triple review. So, of course, this card is going to be just a little bit longer, but you know what? I hope you guys like it. I hope that you guys like that. Uh, we're trying a little something a little bit different, a little couple more cards. So, you know how we did double on Wednesday, last Wednesday? We did triple today. You know what we're doing on next Wednesday, this upcoming Wednesday? You, you guys aren't ready. You guys aren't ready. We're looking at Juin Shishis. Juin Shishis, as in all the cards that have been revealed so far. It's like 15 cards, so 15 card review, let's go, people, all right? That's probably going to be like a fucking 20-minute review, maybe even more. I mean, we're sitting there and looking at 15 different cards, I and mean, a lot of them have the same effect and stuff like that, but still. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Thanks for watching, thanks for support, and I will see you guys next time on Wednesday with that 15 card, I think 15 card? I think I want to say 15 card. Drink card review. All right, people, thanks for watching.